Hello, everyone. Before we dive into the latest news about the Detroit Red Wings, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like to support our work. Let's go. Tarasenko brings experience and hunger for victory to the Red Wings. Vladimir Tarasenko chooses his words wisely. When he speaks, he says, it comes from the heart. I really don't say things I don't care about. He cares deeply about his family, his career, and the legacy he can leave in hockey. Tarasenko joined the Red Wings last week because he and his wife decided that Detroit is a good place to continue raising their three children. It is also one of the most famous teams, if not the most famous in the world when you talk about hockey history, Tarasenko said. No offense to other teams, he said, but growing up in Russia, many people followed Detroit because of the Russian Five. When I had my first PlayStation, I was playing for Detroit with my friends. This was a team we grew up talking about in my neighborhood. It's very exciting to join the team, wear the jersey, and try to help them win. Tarasenko was a little boy when the Russian Five took the NHL by storm. He is 32 now and closer to the end of his career than the beginning. He just won his second cup and is approaching 300 goals, he still wants more of both. The latter should come easily for him in his first season with the Red Wings, who gave Tarasenko a two-year, $9.5 million contract that provides stability to his life after he jumped between four teams in the past two seasons. The former is not a certainty nowadays in Detroit. The Red Wings are still playing the long game under Steve Iserman, adding veterans to the roster while waiting for a core to emerge. They are trying to improve without breaking the bank, an especially tough task in the deep and talented Atlantic division. The Wings got closer to the playoffs last season than in eight years with 91 points, and it will likely take more than that next season to end the drought. I feel like last year was very close, and I'm not a person who just comes in, hangs around, enjoys the time, and doesn't try to win," Tarasenko said. I really like to win. We just won the second cup, but I will do everything I can to help the organization take the next step, help the guys with my experience, and just do my best to make the playoffs. That's why I came, because I like the way the team played, and I believe this team can make the playoffs and do special things. Tarasenko is here to score, there's no denying it. The Red Wings lost more goals than they gained this offseason and will need at least 20 from Tarasenko next season to start making up for that. Tarasenko is no longer the 40-goal threat he used to be, but he has 75 over the last three seasons, scoring at a rate of about 28 goals. If he stays healthy next season in a prominent role on his new team, 30 is within reach. That would be great for Detroit. The Red Wings look talented but not imposing up front. Their top six forwards, Tarasenko, Lucas Raymond, Patrick Kane, and Alex Dabrinkit, will have to overcome their defensive deficiencies. Tarasenko is the sturdiest among them, and even he can be a problem without the puck. He offered an interesting perspective on Monday when he praised the defensive growth of the Red Wings in recent seasons. They were not exactly airtight last season, ranking among the bottom 10 in the NHL in goals and shots against. You need to have good defense to win games now and make the playoffs, he said. And I feel like every year we played against them, they got more structured. I feel like, especially last year, everyone paid attention to details and played good defense. Obviously, there are many skilled guys who can score, but the way they changed their game to mature and play on both ends of the ice was a good change. For his part, Tarasenko said he never lost interest in playing in his own zone. Sometimes I just didn't understand what to do. He realized over the years, first with the Blues and again with the Panthers, that you have to defend if you want your teams to win championships. The Red Wings will have to defend better, which means defending less often if they want to break the playoff slump next season. But Tarasenko is also the son of a former scoring champion in the Russian Super League. He smiled and said, I still like to score goals, don't get me wrong. And I still have some goals not just for the team but also personal. I know many people say that when you get older, it's harder to improve, but I believe it's possible. Kane is a man on a similar mission. Tarasenko is eager to reunite with him after they overlapped briefly with the Rangers a year ago. He is enthusiastic about the idea of playing on the same line, something they couldn't do in New York, it would be amazing. It would require one of them, likely Tarasenko, to switch wings from his typical offhand spot on the right, perhaps a small concession to create more offense. I think it would be a good combination, the way he plays, Kane said. He's obviously a skilled guy, a great shooter, but he works really hard, he's tough on pucks, he wins a lot of pucks back, and he has a great knack for getting open too. 
Kane, on an NHL tour the past two seasons, was a significant voice in Tarasenko's decision to join the Wings. When Tarasenko and his wife reached out about the possibility of making the move, Kane said he and his girlfriend, who have a young child, told them that the Detroit suburbs are unbelievable and what a great place to live and raise a family. Kane also vouched for Tarasenko when Iserman asked for information. The way he plays, not just the young guys, but the whole team will see how hard he works and how much effort he gives every shift. And that's why he has a couple of cups to his name too, Kane said. I think adding that winning presence will be huge for the group. Tarasenko played a third-line role for the Panthers in the playoffs. More precisely, he was on the ice in every game for the NHL's most suffocating team. They trusted him to play a heavy, forechecking style that the Red Wings could certainly benefit from. Tarasenko scored at a rate of about 25 goals last season in Florida and Ottawa, but the year took a toll on his family, divided between cities for the second consecutive season after more than a decade in St. Louis. We are obviously very happy for the confidence the Red Wings gave us to get a deal where we can come in, settle, and stay together as a family," he said. Like Kane, Tarasenko was once an EA Sports cover athlete. Their superstar days are behind them, but they still have video game talents and a lot to prove. Tarasenko would like to remind everyone that he can still fill the net while helping a team take the next level, he said. If the Red Wings get there, they will stay there thanks to players like Raymond, Dabrinkit, and Dylan Larkin. Tarasenko plans to give them a push, as if the controller were back in his hands. Did you enjoy the news? Leave your opinions in the comments. What do you expect from Tarasenko in a Red Wings jersey? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave that like. See you next time.